we screwed with every kid's mind. All the Croft stuff has an age. We still have probably 30 to 40 million dedicated fans, and I know that they're there. In fact, I told my brother, we, I wish we could get a hold of them all. If they all sent us a dollar, I wouldn't be sitting here right now. You are in a secret place that Sid and Marty Croft has never let anybody in. You're looking at probably 50% of everything we have, because we got a ton. You cannot be creative and do a show stoned. You know, it just isn't gonna work. And Sid and myself really never did the drugs. The bottom line is, the audience probably was getting loaded. The Crofts have been playing with dolls their whole life. You know, my brother opened for Judy Garland. I joined them then. And Sinatra and Liberace. We worked for a lot of stars. We were a surefire act. The star wants you know, warm up the audience. So we were consistent. NBC came to us and said, look, why don't you come up with your own show? That's when we came up with Puff and stuff. So, you know, it evolved. You don't make this thing happen overnight. So it was an evolution. These are the books. These are in lieu of our scripts. When we created a show, we'd rather do it with artwork and pictures than with a script. We would go to the network, ABC, CBS, NBC, and do our pitch, our song and dance. They would look at the, all the pictures, we'd explain what we want to do, and uh, they would either say yes or no. We never really cared. When we went in to sell something, we had a good time. So in the 80s, we did less shows. You know, we did Richard Pryor. We got him to do Saturday morning. That's a whole book by itself, having Richard Pryor do a series for us. We did DC Follies in the 80s, a satirical puppet television series. I got calls from politicians wanting to know why they're not in the show. We were not vicious with anybody. We were funny with them. We had the Pope in the show. We were funny. It was very, very tricky to stay in business. You know, people think that we're loaded with cash, but we're independent and we survived. We once did four kids shows at the same time, and they offered us a fifth one. I said, if we do that show, we'll be bankrupt. Fear. We made sure we, we created it to scare kids. These guys, we only had three of them. This is the original. What's incredible is people walk up to me and say, wow, you scared the hell out of me when I was a kid. It's hard to believe, but believe it. The big thing is, if you retire and you stay home and you watch daytime television, you'll be dead in a month. So I don't want to do that. So that's what keeps me from retiring. I also don't want to die at Cedar Sinai Hospital. I want to fall out of an airplane. We have survived every other company that was in kids programming, including Hanna-Barbera, Filmation, and lots of them. They either went bankrupt, they either sold out, or they died. So we didn't either. 